different techniques of adenoidectomy that's the topic see if you see behind the nose the 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 place the area called nasopharynx here you have a structure called adenoids as you see in this picture this adenoid it forms part of the protective mechanism of the body so any bacteria virus or any sort of allergy this adenoid will take care some medical problems or diseases this can result in enlargement of this adenoid so this enlargement or the presence and the enlargement or infection of that adenoid it can lead to so many medical problems out of that two important issues i am going to tell you one is one is sleep apnea because of the enlargement the child or the adult the patient is not able to breathe in normally so when they sleep because they are not able to get the oxygen properly and there are so many body changes the the person the patient they wake up in the night so what happened their sleep is not normal so this can lead to so many problems that is one issue second is uh, this can lead to secondary ear problems and it may you may land up by doing surgery also but primarily we have to take care about the adenoids so the procedure where the adenoids are removed is called as adenoidectomy so in this video we are going to see the different techniques of removal of adenoids so if you want to know only about adenoids in youtube type or enter dr zakir hussain ent adenoids or adenoid hypertrophy you will get everything in detail about the adenoids so let us go through the different techniques of adenoidectomy now we have uh, four five techniques let me tell you the common ones to start with we have a dissection technique where which which we have been doing for so many years together now say about 40 to 50 years now where we use normal instruments this is one of my operative patients and we use the normal instruments we position in such a way and we cure it it out curettage adenoidectomy it's called as curettage adenoidectomy so this is a old technique but still in so many hospitals the technique is still being followed so one step ahead with the new techniques which i which we shall discuss we can remove the adenoids with the help of a micro debrader the blade looks like this the blade looks like this here what we do is we have to have a better visualization of the part behind the nose the adenoids we introduce a endoscope through the nose and the debrider per orally and this debrider here it has got teeth it keeps on oscillating when we press the pedal and wherever this blade comes in contact with it eats up the tissue so by direct visualization and with the help of the debrider we can completely remove of the adenoids so this technique is called micro debrider adenoidectomy this is the second technique third technique is in the system everything is the same except for the micro debrider we replace this with a suction diathermy suction cautery or suction diathermy which has got dual action it sucks the blood away and it cauterizes the area with the and it cauterizes the area too so with this also adenoidectomy can be done so it's called the suction diathermy adenoidectomy the fourth technique is the whole setup is the same endoscope uh, the way you introduce everything except for the debrider we replace the debrider with the coblator here the coblator this is a wand this is a machine so this is the latest technology now this is what i am using now the most of the hospitals now they are using this technique so let me tell you the mechanism of action of this coblator there is a flow of saline through this coblator wand saline is nothing but sodium chloride so you see small rings at the end of the wand so you have a passage of current through that so when there is when electricity or current is passed through saline the sodium chloride it splits up into two sodium ions that is highly charged sodium ions and chloride ions 
and this happens at a very low temperature at 60 to 80 degrees centigrade. So, this sodium ions which are charged ions, this wherein the this ions when it comes in contact with the tissue, it coagulates and it ablates mainly it ablates the tissue, it removes the tissue. So, slowly the adenoids can be removed off. The, the, this is a mechanism, mechanism of how the coagulator works. Now, coming to the advantages, why are we using this technique? Because the per operative period time is very less. Normally, for a curettage, the one which I showed before, it takes about approximately 30 minutes to 45 minutes. With a coagulator, I can do it off in 15 minutes if everything goes fine, say there is paradise, if all the other things are normal. 15 minutes will be more than enough. There is one advantage. Second is the intraoperative bleeding is very less. Postoperatively, the postoperative pain is very less. Since the postoperative pain is very less, the patient recovers very fast and he, he comes back to normal activity at the earliest. These are the advantages of using a coagulator machine. So, now if you ask me which is the technique which is commonly preferred? The answer is this depends upon three factors. One is a patient factor, it depends on you whether you want the old technique or the new technique. Because old technique you spend less, there is a curage, curatage, the first photograph for curatage adenoidectomy. For the new technique you need to pay more. Of course, if you have a insurance, that is not a problem, everything gets solved by itself. The second factor being doctor which technique he is used to, which technique he is comfortable with, which he has been using for so many years together. The third technique, which technique the hospital provides the doctor with. Maybe the doctor knows everything, all the technique. I have done all this technique. Depends upon what the hospital is providing with. They are not able to provide me anything I will do with curatage, adenoidectomy, which is always available in the hospital. If they provide me with a micro debrator, that is fine. So, it depends upon these three factors. So, these are the different techniques of doing adenoidectomy. Thank you so much.